Well, I'm not really back, but I'm sort of back. I have GAC 800 in all of my paint colors, so that to me that means that if I want to get away with something, I should try it. And this definitely needs something. And I'd like it to be chain, but I don't think I can get away with that because there's too much paint. So I'm just, that was the uh, color shifting purple, excuse me, turquoise flash. And now I'm looking for, yes. And I lost a lot of my orange. And I don't know if I could get cells or not, but I might want to try. Sorry about my head. I might be being very frivolous and quite destructive right now, but I'm not sure of that yet. Nothing ventured, nothing gained sort of thing. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. I suspect you might have just been watching part one. There is nothing like an unsatisfactory result in part one to make something miraculous happen in part two. Now what other colors am I missing? I kind of want a little bit more yellow. without green, but black and yellow are almost always making green. I want a the dull end of a skewer, a nice painty one that's safe. I'm dragging something. Wow. I wonder what it is. Looks like, looks like it was a hair. I don't know. Yes, it's still there. There it is. I got it. It's attached to my skewer. Go figure. I actually kind of am beginning to like this a lot, and that's bizarre because I wasn't expecting that. I don't balloon roll to save stuff, but I am not unwilling to dump paint onto a canvas. I want some white Anita's Pearl. And some lighter orange. And I don't mind the patterns behind, so I'm just going to keep blowing into this. I want some of that purple, though, right near black, excuse me, the white. I have some amazing cells actually. Agitated paint will often sell. And you blow into paint and there's other colors in there, it'll show itself up. I'm still thinking, I'm thinking about this Venetian blue. But there's a lot of paint on there and it might sink. I'm just basically putting colors where my instinct tells me to. And I want some green. And even though I don't have any in there yet, it's going to make it seem a lot more like a potential floral. I love the little areas of cross hatching.
This is proof positive that if you have colors you don't like, you can definitely just add colors you like on top of them and make the ones you don't like disappear. Only in this case, it certainly wasn't the colors, it was definitely the pattern. And this is, this goes with something I did recently. And I wanted some of that blue, and I'm glad I put it in there because I really like it. Gotta shake your straw out every once in a while because you'll have spit in there. I'm almost, I want to say I'm almost done, but I think if I said that I might be lying, so. I'm just gonna, that was some turquoise metallic. And I'm gonna call it good pretty quick. Although I do keep thinking about adding dots. I don't think that this one really needs that. If my head's in the way, I am blowing around in little spirals. There's no reason all kinds of patterns shouldn't pop up. And there's also no reason, if I want to, that I can't spiral a few things out or drag th a few things around. So just basically put the dull end of the skewer in, and when I get to the center, I twirl it around in a tight little spiral. really did not expect to do part two. I wanted part one to come out the way I wanted the smaller version I did the other day, the 14 by 14 inch. But um, although this is pretty bizarre, I really like it. And where's my red? Do I want any more pink? Maybe the pink is what I want. I think it might be. Maybe a little more green. And a lot more straw. and the occasional finger. I still want that red. There it is. Cool. This is only working as well as it is because there's a lot of paint on here. Like I said, if it wasn't for a failed part one, you wouldn't get a magnificently weird part two. So I try never to be disappointed for very long. Basically all the colors of the rainbow in here. I want the quinacridone magenta right there. I think. I 
Cool. Okay, so let's torch and see what happens. And I'll tell you guys, I would love your thumbs up, and I might actually feel like I deserve it this time because I worked for this one. Still looking for little places I put paint down and didn't spread it out. But I really hate not paying attention to what's on the end of my straw. Yeah, it's another paisley. I'm seeing stuff I need to twirl. That little bit of green made the yellow that turned green better. I wasn't unhappy about that. I got some edges to cover, but most of them are pretty good. And this is nothing like it started out, and that is okay with me. So I love you guys. There are 90,000 of you plus. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please be welcomed and subscribe. If you're new, please be welcomed. <laughs> Thank you. I have an Amazon link under the link tree, along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links, and Facebook groups, Expression to Start. I know, I just keep seeing stuff. Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More will show you things you can purchase if you're interested in checking out Fine Art America or Pixels.com. Pixels.com and Fine Art America are both on the link tree link underneath Show More. Underneath the video, underneath that link is my uh, is my email address. Should you be interested in taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, if you're ever in the neighborhood, this is the place to come. We have a ball. Students are beginning to come back, and that's nice. I'm pretty happy with all of this now. I will be touching up my edges for a while. What else can I tell you guys? I didn't set my timer, so you're probably on the way on the way out anyway. I wasn't expecting to do all that in any way, shape, or form. Or wasn't even continuing to expect to do more of it right now. But that's okay. It's a very cool paisley. And this time, I'm not going to lose the end, which is cool. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I got a pink flamingo in there. Ha! I gotta quit turning on that tank and turning it off again. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's gonna see things in here. The torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Please feel free to check out my YouTube channel for tomorrow's video on the community board. If you ever have questions, you can ask me if you wanna see a dry artwork or any artwork in particular that you recall and you can't see it any other way, please feel free to ask me and I can always post it to my community board. You're also welcome to ask me questions. Yes, I am. I'm still having a ball spiraling things out. It's not hurting my feelings a bit. I'm even going to use some of that extra paint right on that edge that's missing. So, what am I missing? <laughs> Amazon link has my books on it, Volume 1 and Volume 2, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities are both there next to each other, and all kinds of other wonderful things. This is a complete bizarre fantasy. Dante's Rainbow Room. <laughs> Good thing there aren't really any demons in there. There are some cool cells popping up. There's a lot of great patterns. I like the combination of all the different things together. I want to say thank you guys and please check on the exhibition video on the end screens of every video for that month's drawing prizes included. If you have an interest in making a donation to help keep the studio making videos, you will be automatically entered in that monthly drawing. I will send you an email receipt. Whatever else I need to do to this, I will do some other time. I'm going to try and zoom in and see if you're still here, and you may or may not be. I do not know. And you are. Wow, cool. I'm so glad you were here when I got to do that. There is a lot going on in there. Let's see how far I can bend my camera without having it fall off the tripod. Some really neat stuff going on in there. So 
So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for being here. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Pretty sure I said that already. And whatever I've forgotten to tell you, it's because I became ultimately distracted by my almost faux pas. Alright guys, I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.